Hello and welcome back to the vault. I'm the Gav Major and this is a let's play in the legendary tier United States Light Cruiser, the Worcester, available as a rental and potentially coming to the Bureau in the near future. Now a let's play is basically where I play the game and explain why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I spawned on the right and I'm heading towards the Charlie Objective. Looking at the shipping forecast on the enemy team we have a Kagero, a Fletcher, an Amalfi, a Wichita, an Alaska, an Odin, Alabama, Iowa and a Yamato. Um, so uh, it's worth noting that the front plating of the Worcester is 32 millimeters, which means that I can bow tank up to 16 inch guns. So really only the Yamato is able to overmatch me all over. It's worth also noting that my upper bounty is actually quite thin, so angling in this can be a little bit dangerous. Um, and unfortunately the way she is, you can see that facing forwards only two turrets are actually active and in order to actually even get three turrets, uh, I'm having to pretty much be angled. So um, that's worth noting. So I've pushed up here and my initial positioning is to actually go quiet. But I'm spotted here which would lead me to believe there's something about to enter into the Bravo objective. Over that, oh yes, there you go. So you see some size of the cap to the Bravo objective. Second of all, we know there's a smoke screen and um, that obviously leads me into a potential position where I want to try and push that Yamato's here so I need to keep an eye on between me and the Yamato spotted again but by aircraft not much she can do though um, would love it if I Yudachi could push in there unfortunately can noting that I have the Amalfi on my right Let's see if we can just push into our radar range against most of the Bravo objective and then see if we can work it over. So our radar range is 9 kilometers, and I'm hoping that I can just swish the rear around. And with that, that now leads me to a position, I hope, where I can slow and then pop my radar and then we can work it over. And going forward. So we've got 30 seconds of this to try and get rid of this Kigero. Let's see what support we can call it. Kagera has actually pushed out of this smoke screen towards me. Gonna put my uh, sonar on just in case because there's potential that maybe his torpedoes have reloaded. However, first catch of the game. There are torpedoes. Um, hoping, here's hoping that he's only fired the one launcher. And if so, should be in the clear now. Time to back it up. Uh, noting that the Yamato is flexing into the Chai objective, uh, which does lock me off. Um, would probably want to uh, target the Amalfi if I could. Otherwise, there's not too much I can do. Don't think I can get to the Amalfi. But what I potentially could get to is the Odin. There goes the enemy Fletcher quite nicely. Yeah, we have an Iowa. Mm. 
you, Dachi. We need you to actually cap the objective. I think I'm going to see if I can get an angle onto the Iowa, being the Iowa is now spotted. So we aren't running equilibrium power, we are running uh, just a standard survivability commander um, down in the description along with the modules if that does interest you. into position where we're not being targeted but our rear turrets are able to just clip it over the island fortunately I think it's mostly going in to the island so just gonna back it up a little bit more So our front turrets you, you may appear that they're clipping through the island, but um, even though the shells are travelling, they're not actually causing any damage. It's the uh, shells from the rear guns which are causing damage. Might as well switch to the Amalfi while we have her available. Uh, make sure that we don't get behind the island. That the Yamato is gone, so we're just up against a Odin here. pick on the Alabama. Just make sure that we stay in a target rich environment. Uh, being picked up by the um, sonar of the Odin. Uh, being fired on by the Alabama which has 16 inch guns so just getting that nose in, getting it off the nose instead of off the belt. Quickly flicking out the rest of the turrets again because obviously uh, we want to maximize our DPM. No, the Odin's trying to flex round behind us, so we're just going to have to keep an eye on that. In fact, we might just turn on our sonar to keep that lit. And Alabama's just quickly tucking in. It looks like he's turning away. Should be in a position to continue to farm the Alabama. Yeah, we can just about get turrets over. Very nice. Right, we can now come around the island and start to push. So we like this leaves the Odin and the Amalfi. Obviously, we probably want to try and keep this as much a one v one. Obviously, the Amalfi does have torpedoes, and she is going to want to use them. So we can, or where we can, we want to be targeting those torpedo launchers. 
And the only downside is um, we have to be so broad sometimes. we could do there. I'm quite surprised that he didn't go for the ram, in all honesty. I would have thought the ram would have been the preferred option. Trying to guarantee the kill um, when you know that you are going to be killed. lead a bit more to the right because I'm noticing most of my shells are landing off to his left. quite floaty shells at times. Getting the cap just in time. And that's the uh, issue with that fin up about. to get ourselves our third kill of the game which is quite nice so if you don't like playing behind islands um, you might want to look into a lot of maneuverability and open water play um, however um, she hasn't quite got the armor to do it um, if it's almost like if you were going to do that you'd have to almost every time you get shot at almost have to try and bow tank it um, it should be quite a strange gameplay rather than try and angle against it um, however uh, if you enjoy island play um, she works quite well at island play um, it's simply just down to actually being supported by the rest of the team um, I've had it before where I pushed up to an island I've got hold of the island I'm quite happy with my position and then all my supporting battleships decide this is not the flank to play and the problem is then you're kind of trapped behind the island you haven't got anyone kind of spotting and um, you haven't got anyone kind of like def holding the enemy back at the same time so means you can end up getting surrounded especially when there's quite a lot of Yamatos in the game that can be uh, quite an awkward situation to try and pick yourself out of. Um, however, 241 hits on target, 8 fires and 3 kills, 4 defender ribbons and a capture assist. Uh, again, 80,000 damage and first blood, which is quite nice. Uh, but definitely killing off their Kagero quite early was quite nice. Going to the teams and obviously uh, having killed a destroyer, that usually does help uh, with your uh, ship XP and that puts me in second place on the team because I basically took the Kagero for all his health. Uh, I killed 100% of a ship and therefore that uh, rewards me quite Quite well. Economy wise, obviously, having to take an epic credit booster and a premium account or to make sure I get a nice, healthy profit. Uh, without the premium account, I would have still made a profit, but that is really dependent upon that epic credit booster. Without it, I'd make a loss as due to that ship service cost being approximately 210,000 credits. Uh, as always, down in the description is the command build and the ship modules used. If you have enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, I say thank you very much. A down description is also going to be the email address for the channel if you want to send in any of your own game captures and the link to Patreon if you want to support the channel on Patreon as it is a non-monetized channel. Until next time, I'm the Gap Major and back to the port.